Hello everybody, Expert Fusion here. I'm going to bring you a video that I just decided to put together because of a lot of comments I've been reading in Call of Duty Advanced Warfare videos and they were really getting me just frustrated and I just wanted to put something out to you guys, letting you guys know something. So, everybody, almost everybody has been saying that Call of Duty Advanced Warfare looks like Titanfall, Halo, Crisis 3, all those futuristic games. And I'm here to tell you, it is not Titanfall. It is not those games. So you're seeing some Titanfall gameplay in the background because it goes perfectly with this video. And I'm going to explain to you why Call of Duty Advanced Warfare is not going to be like Titanfall. Alright, so starting off, I'm just going to give you the reasons, that, the ways that they are similar. Because I admit there are a few ways that they're similar. There are only three ways that I see in my mind. Is that one, they're in the future. Two, the guns look very alike. And three, that there's, you know, double jumping, boost jumping, whatever you call it. There's only three similarities. I could go so many different things and say so many different things that are better about Call of Duty. Now, I'm not going to say I don't like Titanfall because I actually like Titanfall a lot. But I'm just going to say it's a lot different in Call of Duty. So I don't want people to be complaining about it and saying, oh, we're just getting the same game that we just got in March. Because we're not. So obviously there are very a lot of differences in, you know, Advanced Warfare and in, you know, Titanfall. So I'm going to explain some to you right now. So first of all, Call of Duty has kill streaks or score streaks in Advanced Warfare. They're called score streaks. Titanfall does not have those. They don't have any kind of rewarding for getting on streaks. There's no rewards for going on streaks. You get your Titan basically for free. So I don't see the big deal about people complaining that oh, there's so many, too many things that look like that one score streak called the X S1 Goliath that everyone was like, oh, it looks exactly like a Titan. It doesn't look shit like a Titan. It looks like a Juggernaut, which we've seen Juggernauts before in Call of Duty, like Mono for Three, Mono for Two. We've seen them in every single Call of Duty, pretty much not every Call of Duty, most of the Call of Duties, and they've been the same every time. It's not like you know, it's a new thing that we're getting this. So. I don't understand why everyone's like, oh, the Goliath looks like a Titan. It doesn't look like a fucking Titan, alright? It's pretty big. It's like a mech suit, not a Titan. It's a lot smaller. Another difference, the maps. The maps, jeez. Titanfall maps are huge, and they're meant to be huge, basically because there's a bunch of Titans running around, okay? And also because they have all those extra bots and the specters and all those extra things. And see, that's another thing. Advanced Warfare has small maps. Advanced Warfare only has... Does not have, um, well, does not have, you know, spots and specters in it. Does not have titans. It does not have any of that shit. So I don't see what everyone's complaining about that. Advanced Warfare has better, well, more. Now, I'm not going to say better because we haven't really seen too many of them. But obviously, it's going to have more game modes. They said it had 12 game modes. Titanfall only has about 4 or 5 game modes. I'm pretty sure it's not as much as Advanced Warfare is going to have. Advanced Warfare has all these different things like Uplink and Domination. A lot of different things that wasn't even in Titanfall. I mean, I like Titanfall. Not gonna, I'm not trying to hate on Titanfall or anything, but I'm just letting you guys know they're very different games. So I don't want everyone to keep complaining about that. Another thing, Call of Duty has freaking laser guns in it, and I didn't see any laser guns in Titanfall. A lot of people are like, oh, the laser guns look overpowered. Oh, they're freaking not overpowered. I just watched a video like five minutes ago on them, and they are not even that great. I would say assault rifles and SMGs are actually better than this thing. But it's still a pretty cool addition, and it looks like it's going to be a lot of fun to use, so I'm pretty excited to use it. Nonetheless, um... Now, another thing, Advanced Warfare has a lot of customability, and we can tell that by the Pick 13 system, there's a lot of different customization options. You can go from all sorts of perks, and all sorts of, you know, lethal abilities, and attachments, and guns, and camos, and all craziness things with your, your creative class, and also your, your own soldier, you can customize your soldier, make him look awesome. Titanfall, you can't do that. So, I mean, as much as Titanfall I did like, it was a fun game at first. But the only thing about Titanfall that, you know, would be nice if they were to do in Titanfall 2, because I'm pretty sure they're making Titanfall 2 eventually, I'm hoping they will. That'd be pretty cool in my mind if they made Titanfall 2. I want them to make it a little bit more like Advanced Warfare, and a lot of people are like, oh, they probably don't want that. But you know what? I wouldn't care, because I think it'd be pretty cool if it was a lot like Advanced Warfare. But, in a way, you know, I wouldn't want a lot like Advanced Warfare. I would still want it to have its own original things in it. I would still want it to make its own types of systems, and how it works would be its own thing, and not too much like Advanced Warfare, obviously. But Advanced Warfare is its own game, and Titanfall is very different. And everyone's like, oh, Advanced Warfare, you know, copied, uh, what's it called, uh, Titanfall and whatever. And they're like, well, Advanced Warfare has been in the been working for the past three years, and Titanfall has been working for the past like, two or three years, too. And that means they couldn't really get the idea from them, because they didn't get the release of Titanfall like until like, a couple months ago. So how would they just copy it? 
they didn't copy, they didn't copy, alright? I'm gonna say that much. It's not possible to copy, and if anything, Titanfall copied Call of Duty with bringing the game, just like Call of Duty. I don't know. Advanced Warfare is not copying shit. Advanced Warfare looks fine. I don't hate the future. I think it's a good idea, actually. It's going to a place where they've only been through once in Call of Duty history. We've only gone. Call of Duty Black Ops 2 had some futuristic things in it. That was the only one. It didn't go all out with the future, but Advanced Warfare is going all out with the future, and I actually kind of like that. I'm very excited for Advanced Warfare. So when it comes out, I'll bring you all sorts of videos. Over this next week, you're only going to be getting um, a few types of videos. I'm going to bring a video on Tuesday. I'm going to bring a video on Thursday, and then I'm bringing Monday, Wednesday, and Friday are all going to be Black Ops 2 live commentaries that are recorded already and they're ready to set, ready to upload. And Saturday, of course, will be our shoutout Saturday where we'll get three more channel shoutouts and then we'll move on from there doing more things on our channel. Um, on Sunday, I might be doing a uh, my scuff controller review. That's if the scuff controller comes by Sunday. Hopefully it will. But anyways, I will see you guys on my next video. Really enjoyed talking to you guys today. Bye.